Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from The Raymond Report with your free NBA preview and prediction for Thursday, December 31st. Happy New Year, everybody. Hopefully you're having yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner. All right, we're going to kick it off here with a little afternoon delight, a little uh, Starland vocal band reference right there. If uh, you remember that song, a little afternoon delight, that's a pretty good tune. Um, the Pacers going into this one as a 7.5 point home court favorite. The over under set at 217. ATS forecast, the computer pick, going to lean with Indiana here. 110 to 100, the over under at 211.66. Looking at both these teams here today, off to a good start. In fact, they've won 75% of their games. Both teams are 3 and 1 straight up and against the point spread in their last uh, four games, so the to start the season. And if you look at their over under record, the Pacers 3 and 1 to the over where Cleveland is 2-2 two and two on the season. Now, looking at the value index here for the rain report, we have more value here on the uh, Cavaliers, minus 8.17, and you're getting plus 7.5 with the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. And for Indiana, it's uh, we had them at minus 11.17, and you're laying 7.5, so you're getting good value on both teams. So uh, rest assured that uh, if you like any of these teams, that uh, you're not overpaying for their uh, uh, the, the price on them, right? Uh, looking at the chance of winning, 69% chance of winning for the Pacers, 27 for the Cavaliers. Uh, and looking at the uh, chance of covering the spread, both teams at 29%. Now the Kogo, Kogo stands for chance of game going over the total, is at 44%, meaning a 56% chance of this game going under the total. Now looking at the ATS calculator here at ATScalculator.com, we have Indiana winning by two and the over-under at 226.2, so a bit of conflicting numbers here with 211 with the computer pick. I always like to see if we can match it up, uh, have the computer pick and the ATS calculator uh, be on the same page. This way, uh, a couple indicators give us a stronger uh, opinion on a game. And looking at the last 10 games between these two teams, Indiana 6-4 and four straight up, 4-4-2 four, four and two against the number, 6-4 and four to the over. Now, I do have uh, some indicators pointing towards uh, Cleveland in this uh, game here today in since the start of the um, the NBA season road teams against division foes so division opponents 12 and 4 against the numbers so be careful um, if you do like uh, Indiana just remember this indicator right here division opponents uh, getting uh, the better of the uh, um, of their opponents on their home court so and, and it goes with the market psychology right and speaking of that let's look at the SBI we're in a neutral market so um, for me Anytime we're in a neutral market on the three and the seven day average, I'll bet 10% of my bankroll. So today will be a 10% day, except for home favorites. If you look at home favorites right now, uh, they're only covering uh, 41%. So if I do like a home favorite, it's probably going to be a 5% bankroll day. So there you have it, guys. That's my preview and prediction on today's game between the Pacers and the Cavaliers. Um, normally, I like to give you a, like a lean where I'm leaning on this game. I don't have an opinion uh, on this game at this time. I'm going to wait to see what the latest line move does on the day and uh, see it's going to the over as we speak. So right now, uh, money coming in on the over, and uh, that's where you might want to lean, but the Kogo is at 44%. As always, folks, don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner. And uh, enjoy the afternoon delight with the Starland Volcaban uh, in your mindset. Take care. Cheers.